What's up, everyone? We are finally here down in Bay Park in some warm sunshine. It's been a long, long road, and I think we may almost be there. It's still windy. I hear the wind's going to die down tomorrow, but uh, the boats are out. Life is starting to come back here on Long Island, New York, and uh, we're down here in Bay Park. Got the bike out with day 334 of the journey and uh, coming into the home stretch here. Still over 30 days left. Um, pretty wild. 10 plus miles a day, 334 days in a row. So, got to get your message of the day. So, I was actually talking with one of my agents earlier and we were talking about um, she was showing a house and the people weren't interested in the house because of the kitchen. And um, much like I've taught her, uh, we solve problems. Uh, as the role of a real estate agent, as the role of anyone in sales, um, we solve problems. And that really goes for anyone in life. So she went over with them and showed, him, showed them that if we move a set of cabinets over and move some stuff around, it opens the whole kitchen up. And the people actually saw the vision and I think they're going to make an offer on the house based on basically just uh, handling the objection, handling the problem and solving the problem. They loved the house. Kitchen was a little small the way it was laid out. If you switch and move the cabinets around in a certain way, the whole kitchen opens up. And now suddenly it's not a small kitchen anymore with minimal amount of work. But I think a lot of people, um, when they come up with a problem, they just walk away. They don't solve the problem. They don't come up with a solution. And of course, they're all parts of life. Um, the minute you're hit with a problem, a lot of times people just bail and they walk away. So it's big in the uh, real estate world. I'm showing houses and I always say, okay, what do you think of this house? And like, oh, I love the layout, but you know, I can't take the wallpaper. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, so we'll peel the wallpaper up. You know, like, um, they look at the wallpaper and it's a stumbling block to them buying the house of their dreams because of wallpaper or because of shag carpet or because of something silly that can be fixed. So in your life, when you run across problems, don't walk away from your problems. Think outside the box. How can you solve that problem? How can you make that problem better? And that's what separates a lot of people in this world. The people that are problem solvers and the people that are uh, maybe problem makers and uh, that make mountains out of molehills. Um, the, the people that succeed in this world are problem solvers. Um, you know, think about all the, uh, you know, the iPhone. We needed a problem. We needed a computer that we can carry around and do a lot of stuff for us. Solve the problem. Created iPhone. Um, there's so many examples out there of stuff that's been produced to solve problems. So if you walk around looking to solve problems rather than create problems, um, you'll excel in the world. You'll excel in life. You're, you'll excel in your relationships, um, right? You got a problem in a relationship, something's not going right. Uh, do you figure out how to fix it or do you just walk away from it? Um, solve the problems. So advice for you today is solve the problems in your life. Don't walk away from the problems. Don't look for problems. Look for solutions. And that'll uh, separate you from the rest of the crowd. All right, today's your message of the day. Let's jump on prayers. This is beautiful down here today. God is good today. Look at this. All right, in the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Uh, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Uh, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to solve problems in our life. Help us to not just throw our hands up in the air and give up. Help us to be uh, find solutions. Help us to think outside the box. Help us to help those around us solve problems. Um, and God bless all the uh, First Communion recipients today over the Lady Lord's Church. I was over there with my daughter earlier. And uh, God bless them making First Communion. Uh, we're doing a party tomorrow, so that's why I'm here now. Uh, I think the weather's supposed to be even better tomorrow. But uh, please, God, pray for all those 
young children starting out in the world. Um, look after them and make sure they excel. Amen. All right. It's Saturday. The weather is beautiful. Make sure you're outside. If you're not outside today, there's something wrong with you. Get outside. You got to get the sun soaked up. This is how we get rid of our seasonal depression with sunshine. Uh, sunshine day. Look how nice that is. It's warm. It's, uh, I'm out here in short sleeve shirts. I got shorts on. Look at those legs from riding. I'm representing Johnny Pork over here. Tina Pork Store. All right, everyone. Have a happy Saturday. We will see you tomorrow for Sunday Fun Day. Uh, 30 days left. All right. Good stuff. Uh, put your head on a pillow every night knowing you're making the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.